Hello there, this is Shomitra Pal. We assemble once again for a video lecture series on machine tool and machining. This is a third year undergraduate course at IIT Kharagpur, and this is being done in four parallel sections. These videos are for all the students, irrespective of your sectional attachment. All the students are requested to go through these videos so that your learning objectives towards machine tool and machining are met. Today we are going to discuss a simple numerical problem on drilling. So let us have a look at the problem. So it's, it is a very simple problem. Typically this will have five marks. And you are expected to complete it within eight to nine minutes. So what is the problem? There is a steel plate having a thickness of 50 millimeters. So this is the steel plate and this is its thickness, which is 50 millimeter. It has a pre-existing hole, as you can see here. Diameter of the hole is six millimeter. So this diameter which is pre-existing, it is quite often called a pilot hole, is 6 mm. The hole diameter is being enlarged and it is being enlarged to 12 mm. While doing that, so this is being enlarged to 12 mm. While doing that, it has been observed that specific cutting energy is 1 gigajoule per meter cube. Typically, we prefer the specific grinding or uh, specific cutting energy to be mentioned in joule per millimeter cube. However, this is the SI unit and the numerical value in front of the SI unit and joule per millimeter cube, they match. So if the specific cutting energy is given as 1 gigajoule per meter cube, it is also 1 joule per meter cube. The rotational speed of the drill has been given as 600 millimeter and the feed is also given as 0 0.1 millimeter per revolution. And these are the five things that you have to calculate. Some of them, they are very simple like cutting speed, feed rate and some of them are like cutting torque and power. So let us see how we are going to solve this problem. So what I have done is that I have kept the problem statement and I have given just the solution for first two things. One is cutting speed, another one is feed rate. This is the drilling process. Typically cutting speed in a drilling is calculated at the periphery. It is not calculated at the center. It is calculated at the periphery. So thus my cutting speed would be calculated by Vc equal to pi dn by 1000 and for d 12 would be substituted and for n 600 would be substituted. So 600 will come from here and 12 would come from here. If you do the calculations correctly, you will get a cutting speed of 22.6 meter per minute. Now let us calculate feed rate. This drill is being fed in this direction at 0 0.1 millimeter per revolution. Where is it given? It is given here. You are not asked to the calculate that or mention that. You have to find out the feed rate. That means with what speed the drill is coming downward. And typically it is expressed in millimeter per minute or millimeter per second. How do I calculate it? It is very simple. Feed rate is typically denoted by SM, which is feet per revolution into the rotational speed. So it becomes 0 0.1 into 600 RPM 60 millimeter per minute. These two things are very simple estimation or calculation. Typically this kind of calculation you learn in first year while studying introduction to manufacturing. 
but these are essential to calculate the other things so we have given them to be calculated as well now let us go to bit more involved parameters so now the other three things you have to estimate or calculate first one is material removal rate so how do i calculate material removal rate once again this is the drilling as because there is a pre existing hole the pilot hole the whole area the complete area is not being removed by the drill only an annular area is removed where this diameter is 12 and this diameter is 6 so the projected area which is being removed is an annular area with this kind of geometry so how much is the area of the annular area pi by 4 outer diameter square by inner minus inner diameter square inner diameter or pilot hole into the rate at which it is being extruded that is it is being machined which is SM. So if you put the numbers it will come out to be 589 millimeter cube per minute or 84.82 millimeter cube per second. So this is the material removal rate in the present case. Now let us try to calculate the power. Power in drilling can be calculated as material removal rate into specific cutting energy. When we are using this formula, we are assuming the contribution of or power requirement in feeding the job tool in this direction is negligible. You have seen that the amount of power required to feed the turning tool along the longitudinal feed direction is very less. So here also it is very less. So if you multiply MRR into UC, you will get the cutting power. So 84.82 meter cube per second into 1 joule per millimeter cube. Specific cutting energy is given an gigajoule per meter cube, but that is gigajoule per meter cube is numerically equal to joule per meter millimeter cube. So we are replacing that and we are getting a number which is close to 85 watt. Now you have been asked to calculate cutting torque. Now we all know torque into angular speed in radian per second gives you the power. So torque equal to power divided by angular speed. Angular speed is given or rotational speed is given as 600 rpm. So 600 by 60 or 10 rotations per second into 2 pi. So it goes into radians per second and you have a final answer of 1.3 by Newton a meter. So 1.35 Newton meter is not very substantial torque but this is the kind of drilling torque that is required for drilling a hole which is given here. Thank you so much for your time. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that whenever we upload any video you will be intimated. If you are not a student of IIT Kharagpur but you find these videos to be useful I would request you to do the same please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much stay safe during this period. Thank you.